Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Evercool Buffalo CPU cooler review. This one here today that I'm looking at is for an AMD CPU, but it does come in other models. And um, this is a mainstream CPU cooler. Keep that in mind. A lot of you have been asking me for uh, CPU coolers that are like under 20 bucks. Well, this is a perfect example. It comes with the thermal paste, so you're good to go. You don't have to go out and buy anything else. Um, comes with all the necessary information. Here are the different models. As you can see, I've got the AMD model, and it tells you how to install that AMD model here with some pictures as well, so that helps. The uh, fan is a 100 millimeter fan, very nice. And we're gonna put it to the test and see how this uh, nice little uh, CPU cooler works. It's a conventional design. It's got the U-shape copper heat pipes going through it and um, nice shiny um, base there for the copper as well, making contact with the uh, CPU. Okay, so that's very nicely done there as well. So copper um, transmits the heat uh, very, very well. So definitely recommend uh, copper base if you're looking for a CPU cooler. The attachment here, that bracket, is actually already on it, so it makes it easy. And there you see the nice uh, fan, that 100 uh, millimeter fan. Okay, and of course it comes with the uh, power connector for it. Okay, you connect that to your motherboard where it says CPU fan. So um, the test system that I'm going to be using this in is, is actually an older system of mine. It's a Phenom 2 um, quad core 955 model running at 3.2 gigahertz. Okay, and I've installed it in a new board, the uh, Jetway HAF09, which is using the 890 chipset. And um, basically, uh, it doesn't interfere with the memory. Okay, I did. Uh, look at the sides to see how it sticks out and stuff like that and doesn't interfere with your memory so don't don't worry about the um, large heat spreaders um, touching it here are the um, specs of the test system okay I mixed it up with a little bit of everything on the hardware side and you can see here the voltages and the readings that I'm getting with this CPU cooler and of course that Jetway motherboard that I just showed you. I reviewed this motherboard separately if you're interested in the uh, review for that as well. And um, I actually once overclocked this same CPU to 3.8 gigahertz but on this um, system I overclocked it from 3.2 gigahertz you can see here to 3.6 and that's because the CPU cooler keeps it nice at full load at around 50 degrees Celsius and that's really 10 degrees to or more less than um, the, the max so I was pretty happy with that and the RPM of the uh, fan is only 1800 so it was very quiet as well so very nice little uh, CPU cooler if you're looking for your AMD if you got an Athlon quad core or even a Phenom 2 no problem this worked great and again like I said under $20 if you go on new egg click on the link right now I've got in the description it will take you there I'd like to thank Evercool for providing it and I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.